Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. It's been some time since I have shared my weekend vlogs with you guys because lately life has been so busy since uh, we are middle of deciding where Raj will be going for college as well as getting the shopping list ready. So, so many things are going on right now. And I cannot wait to share those things with you guys. But uh, this weekend was kind of laid back. We didn't have much to do. So, of course, our morning is starting with the Guju breakfast. So, recently, when I went to Indian store, I bought this Fafra. Um, and this is the first time I was trying this brand. Uh, for the Fafra. Of course, I had tried their other stuff, but not the Fafra, but I would not recommend at all uh, because somehow it just didn't taste right. And whenever I buy either the Fafra or the Papri, I usually put it in the oven on 250 degree for about 15 to 20 minutes. So basically, it's kind of freshen up and it's get more crispy. So of course, that way it tastes really good. But even after doing all that, somehow this papra didn't taste good. I would say it's okay. It's not like really bad. Um, it was just okay for us. So I would not buy this brand anymore. But of course, the Swad papra or the papri, they are really good. So uh, last time when I went to Indian store, I bought the Swad papri, and that's the brand that I always buy but this time I thought let me just try something new um, so that's the reason we bought this one but uh, it was okay like I say and this one and the other one always comes with the chutney uh, mix as well as the green chilies uh, green chilies no doubt it tastes really good uh, basically that is the achar mirchi uh, and it comes with the chutney mixer so all you need to do is just to add the water in it and heat it up and all that but i don't like the taste of that chutney so i didn't made it but of course the mirch tastes really good so that was our breakfast and this painting guys one of my colleague at work one day she was painting similar to this kind of painting and i tried it loved it so much so she's the one who bought this for me I finish it and I put it in my office at work. But if you are someone who like to paint, highly, highly recommend. You can find this on Amazon and it is basically paint by the number. So you can't go wrong with it. It is so good. And here we are for lunch. Today I'm making Halwai Wali Alu Sabji. You have to try this, guys. It just tastes so good. So here in the hot oil, I add mustard seed cumin seed, just a little bit fenugreek seeds, red chilies as well as the green chilies. Green chilies you can add it, add it according to your taste and then just add the tomato. Tomato you can either uh, chop it very fine if not you can just blend it roughly and that should be fine. So we're gonna let the tomato cook until oil is not separated. Meanwhile in this pot I'm adding just a little bit haldi powder, dhania jeera powder, red chili powder, hing, as well as the garam masala and amchur powder. You want to go ahead and mix everything properly. Make sure there is no any lumps in it. And then also I'm adding some water in it. So once the tomato is cooked properly, we'll go ahead and add this masala in there. So that way basically, you know, when we add the masala, it won't get burned. And like I mentioned, guys, you have to try this uh, sabji recipe. Believe me, if you make it exactly how I'm making here, it tastes so good. And like I say, you know, it's going to taste just like how the halwai makes it. Uh, so here, as you can see, the tomato has been cooked properly. The oil is separated. And yes, it is a little bit more oil than usually I use. But that's how we want it, you know, because this is the halwai wali sabji. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add this masala. And of course, you do want to add some more water in here too. And the consistency of this sabji, it's up to you how uh, runny or how thick gravy you want it. So first of all, I'm going to let this cook. I'm going to go ahead and cover it. 
and we'll let this cook for another five minutes or so and this is it guys when you add the boiled potato in here you don't want to chop it you don't want to have the perfect cubes you just want to basically mash it just like the way i'm doing it here and just go ahead and add it in there so yes for this you have to use the boiled potatoes as well as uh don't don't worry about chopping or anything just add it the way i'm adding it here and at last we're gonna add just a little bit of kasuri methi cover that let that uh, you know as that this point i'm also gonna add some more water because as you can see it's very thick and i do want some more gravy so i'm gonna add the water cover that let that simmer on medium flame for another 10 minutes or so so you can uh, serve this sabji with the puri or simply with the rice even it tastes so good and at this point my entire house was smelling so good so this sabji i made it on uh, saturday and sunday was the ram nami so in the morning we went to mandir and like i mentioned there is so many things going on right now guys because we are coming like closer and closer to make it making a decision where Raj will be going for college and there is so many things that needs to be taken care of you know so um, but definitely once we decide where he's going I will share all those information with you guys as well as what are the things that I will be giving to him and uh, it's just such an exciting time you know there is so many things going on right now and uh, here at night uh, kids want to eat this brownie cups now this brownie cups i only find it at the walmart but believe me again guys you do want to try this you do want to make it it is so good it's basically a fudge brownie so um it comes with this fudge so you do want to make the brownie first and you want to make sure that you don't cook them uh, completely like it should be a little bit undercooked and then just add the fudge as well as the sprinkle on the top and it just tastes so good. Uh, so this again actually one of my colleagues at the work she made it and then I bought it and then I made it too. So basically every Friday now we do at the work it's uh, you know we make something and we bring it over there because the friday it's a long day uh, so everyone cooks something and we just basically share what we uh, have for lunch so it is lots of fun but that was our saturday sunday and again guys i cannot wait to share with you guys all the things that lately it's been going on i also miss you guys too so definitely next video we it's gonna be chatty video <laughs> and uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed this uh video and yes lots of recipe that i have uh, actually recorded and i will share those with you guys also don't forget to subscribe my channel because again as i mentioned earlier i will be giving away that chopper at the end of the month all I'm looking is that you do subscribe my channel, comment on any of the videos. Also, please do not forget to like the video. So thank you so much for watching this, guys. Take care and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.